Being an 80s kid, I have dealt with uh, ID cables and people who know what ID is know how scary it is. I mean, connecting your drive to your motherboard using those flat ID cables was no less threatening than someone holding you on a gunpoint. I mean, one pin bent and it is catastrophe for you. You are doomed. That stuff was expensive. And when SATA came in, it felt like blessing. One power cable, one SATA cable and you're done. Sorted. And that would give you better performance? Yay! Wow, perfect. Those cables also came in with locking mechanisms. I mean, you throw your PC out of your window, it falls down and the drives are still connected to your motherboard. That's technology. People are still using it. Even after so many years, SATA is still being used. I'm using SATA. It is there to stay. But then comes NVMe. I mean, someone tells me that there is a new technology wherein you can just connect your hard drive straight to your motherboard without cables. Am I dreaming? I was so happy with two cables, one power cable, one SATA cable, I was sorted in life. You could connect your hard drive to your motherboard without using cables. That's perfect. So a lot of people have switched to NVMe these days or M.2 for that matter and why not? I mean it's a perfect design, it's super compact, it is much less power hungry than any of your traditional hard drives and it goes directly on your motherboard so there are no cables, no hassle. Perfect. Of course it's a little expensive right now, the technology is pretty new and it's going to cost you some premium till the novelty fades out. Right, so this video is not sponsored by any of the products that I'm showing in and today we're going to talk about this. M.2 NVMe and NGFF hard drive enclosure. Yay! They could have just simply written M.2 enclosure or NVMe enclosure and got done with it. I mean, that solves the purpose, but they had to do this. Why do people do this? Anyway, so it's coming from Orico and uh, it's a good company. It's a good make. Uh, I've been using Orico products for last uh, two, two and a half years now. I have a couple of enclosures. I have a hard disk bay, which is performing pretty good. So yeah, I mean, I can trust this company. So yeah, let's not waste much time. Let's begin with the unboxing. All right, here we are. We are at the unboxing. Let's get this open. This is the Orico M.2 NVMe housing, available in four colors. And that's pretty much about it. Let's open and see what do we have inside the box. All right, this is what you get. This is just the silica gel. And this is the actual housing. And then you get, you get these plugs and uh, you can actually plug these into the drive that goes inside this. And a type C to type C cable, a heat sink guard, a cover and a tape that comes with the heat sink. All right, so let's look at the contents once again. We have the heat sink tape, then the guard, the housing itself, the type C to type C cable and the plugs to keep the drive in place. All right, let me quickly open this and show you where exactly the drive goes. So right below the logo, there's a sliding cover. You just have to slide it this way. Take the locking cap off and then the entire housing opens. You can see there are four different places where you can put these plugs and arrest your drive inside. So these are the ports and there are one, two, three, four different sizes of NVMe that you can put inside. So yep, that's about it. All right, so let's get to the installation part. Not too difficult, pretty simple, no rocket science here. This is the M.2 drive that I got for my games. This is a Samsung 980 Pro. And I'm gonna put this drive in that enclosure and transfer some data from my older hard drive to this drive. So for that, what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is the thermal pad that you get inside the box. It comes with protective uh, layer on both sides of it. You just have to peel the protective layer like so and then stick that part on this side of your NVMe like so. So once you've taken the top side protective layer off, then you can stick the heat sink on the drive like so and the overall assembly after everything is in place should look like this. 
Right, one thing to note here guys, I'm not going to put these thermals on my 90T Pro because 90T Pro is what I bought for my games and it goes inside my PC. So it's not going to stay in the enclosure for long. So I'm not going to put those thermals on my drive. That was just for demonstration purposes. So yeah, it's completely fine to use the NVMe drive in the enclosure without the thermals because these drives don't heat up that much. So that's completely fine, not a problem. Alright, coming back to the installation, this is the enclosure itself. You have to put the assembly of the drive, the thermal pad and the heatsink inside this. And to do so, you can slide open this bottom part like so and take the, the cover off. And once you have taken this off, the enclosure opens up like this, right? Once it opens up, pretty simple. You just have to, this is where the uh, connectors are. So you just have to insert your drive very carefully in those connectors like so. And that's where these tabs come in action. So there are two tabs in this bag. Uh, you just need one and it goes on your drive's end like this, if you can see, right? And once you have placed it over there, you just have to push it down and lock it in place, right? So the drive is now placed inside the enclosure. You put the cover back on, put the locking mechanism back on. Once you have the drive installed inside the enclosure, all you have to do is take the data cable, connect it to the enclosure. And the cable that you get inside the box is a type C to type C cable. So something to note here, your laptop or a PC might not have type C port. So you might have to look for a type C to type A cable. But you can use the Type-C to Type-C cable just in case if you're using an Android phone and most phones these days will come with a Type-C port. So you can use this enclosure with a Type-C port on your phone. And once you have connected to your phone, the blue lights on the enclosure comes up telling you that the connection has been established. Automatically opens my files on my phone, says OTG recognizing. And now it says 706 GB on 2 TB. So that is the Samsung 2 TB 90T Pro that I've installed in the enclosure. It's reading on my phone right now. So that's pretty convenient. Do that with IDE ports. Guys, if you have liked this video that's coming from the latest tech series of Throttling Frames Gaming, and if you think that this video has helped you, or it may help someone you may know, please share this video with them. Also in future, there are a lot of unboxing and tech review videos coming from this series. So stay subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure that you do so. Share with your friends and family. Drop me a comment. I love feedbacks. All right. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. I shall see you guys very soon in the next one. Till then, bye-bye. I'm going, but you don't. You can watch my other videos.